Hey guys, um, today I have a video on like my, it's like an update video on my craft space. Um, so pretty much I'm starting to take over um, the living room and Andrew was kind enough to pretty much just say, you know what Kelly, um, I don't use my den that often anymore. You can turn that into your craft space. So I was super happy and thankful for that. So let's get started. Um, so when you first walk in, I've got two tables here. Um, they're just side tables from Ikea. And pretty much I have my uh, mailing um, station in this little white drawer here. Incoming, outgoing mail. Things I have to go through. Um, but yeah, so that's there. And then I have this paper tray that I bought from the Dollar Tree a while back. Um, I just have some crafts that I'm working on at the moment and then underneath of that I have some cardstock paper and underneath these tables, um, I showed these before, my dad picked these up from the Target for me the last time we went and inside of those I just have some friend mail and I have cardstock on the one to the right, like the the paper pads that are kind of too big for anywhere else I have. So then you come to this um, like Ikea storage unit. I'm sure like a lot of people have these, so they're always available in multiple colors there. And just on top, I have some pouches from um, the Dollarama the knickknacks that I've picked up here and there. There's like a Bath and Body Works candle that I burn. Um, all these little jars here full of goodies are from the Dollarama. They're $1.25. You can still get them there. And these little cupcake containers are from the Dollar Tree. Again, they're there. And inside of them, um, just like binder clips and paper clips and, um, random stuff like that and I think it's you know really convenient uh piggy bank just random things so now I'm gonna kind of give you just a little quick rundown of what I have in these compartments um so I guess like the first like row here I've just got a little basket again from Target um uh full of Clothes pins, the one underneath of that, just some goodies for friend mail and whatnot. I didn't know where to put these um, pocket letter pouches, so I just left them there for now. Kind of an empty one that I still need to organize, and some journals. Um, and then in this row, I've got some like flower embellishments, paper stuff, acrylic flowers, but just flower stuff in general. And then the one after that, I have my list pads for the most part, some random stuff in there, but all my list pads. And then this one here um, has my like tags that are pre-made that I'm making, stuff like that. And then the bottom one here, I have like all my trims um, for the most part. I have some twine and I used a lot of these um like binder rings I guess to hold them together a lot of people have been doing that for sure and then the next row here um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave these here but this is just some of my ribbons and twine that I use on a daily pretty much and then I picked up the slice tool set from Tuesday mornings um, some adhesives in that one, sequences in that one, and then just random stuff I've yet to organize. This one here is kind of full of embellishments and whatnot, and I really do like using the binder clips for that because that does hold it together. So there's that. And then the one underneath of that is just random scrapbook paper and knickknacks, papers, and whatnot. Um, this one here is... Um, blank cards, note cards, cards I've received from people just to have on hand if I need to do a quick thank you card or something like that. The scrapbook albums that I picked up from Michaels a couple weeks ago. These here are my punches. The one underneath of that are my stamps and then just some more random paper and whatnot. Here, if you guys are wondering what this like 
freaking hot pink um cheetah or leopard print um runner is it's actually a yoga mat and rupert he usually does come and he follows me um everywhere I go usually so I just wanted something soft for him to be able to lay down on um because it is hardwood which I was kind of reluctant initially for this room um to craft in because it's not as cozy but it does get a lot of natural daylight so then over here um I've just got this crafting station that I picked up from Michael's. I put some of my duct tapes on there. During the move, it kind of didn't hold up so well. So I'm not sure if I would recommend this anymore to people, but it's it does the job. I don't use it as much anymore, but um, I just put it in here for now. And then in this, I've just got some knickknacks and random stuff I've yet to organize. A ruler, some brads. And then I had to put all my stickers into something so I have them in this gigantor, gigantor Ziploc bag so I've yet to organize all these stickers because I took them out of the wrapper so I can't have them in the binder um, rings anymore so just a couple like I don't know for now I've been organized enough in there and then this is my desk um, I've just got my printer my paper trimmer that I don't know where I'm going to put yet. Um, I was working on just kind of a uh, door handle. I just have like, I used chalkboard pen and just put craft room on there. This is just the general overview. My planner, a box full of random stuff. Um, the crafter's companion I put there for now. So underneath I also have a little rug here for Rupert because he does sometimes like to lay by my feet um, when I'm crafting it's kind of cute so just a quick overview you guys um, these little containers here are from the Target dollar spot I've seen them at Dollarama as well so they're usually a buck super affordable um, I've just got some highlighters and some chalkboard pens in that one. And then this one here, of course, you guys know, I love these like fat pens. Um, they're awesome and they're super cute. Just general pens like red, blue, and black ink. Um, this like container here, um, I picked up from the Dollarama. I think it was like two bucks or two fifty, but it kind of divides things into three. So I've got like crafting scissors. I have my adhesives here, some glue, pencils, um, fine liners, and just tools for like scoring. This little jar here used to have jelly beans in them. Use things around the house. Like truthfully, I didn't buy anything. Um, I had like, of course, I bought everything here, but. Um, nothing to organize with. I just use things around the house and then my containers I had already picked up from the Dollar Tree. Pretty much um, that said, I have a notepad here that I got from Michael's a while back. Um, just for some ideas, um, a stress brain. Uh, we got these from the BC... Sorry, it's like focusing. Schizophrenia Society. Um, they did a presentation at my work, so they're giving these out pretty cool. Um, and then I I like using like well having my washies here just because that way I see them and I use them compared to like storing them in a container. I'm not gonna go digging for them. Um, and that's the thing. So I do like this layout. I'm not going to have everything here. I just didn't know where to put things yet. Like this I'm probably going to store away. It's just like extra washies and whatnot. Um, just paper clips. Some of these are just recently hauled things that I have not put away yet. Um, and this acrylic little storage container here was from the Dollarama in the makeup kind of um, health area so I had a couple extra ones so I thought I'd just use them for that and I have some of my mini punches here some random um, clothes pins if I need to hold anything together some paper clips just notepads um, 
Miss Leah recently made a video on just like uh she's talked she hauled some scissors uh like precision scissors and a good way to clean them guys that I actually learned from work um because of like a lot of like wound cares and stuff sometimes like the sticky like this of tape or like bandages or whatever alcohol alcohol swabs are amazing for that even if you have like extra like just alcohol laying around put some on a cotton pad these work amazing i use um alcohol swabs to clean everything like i'm telling you like even makeup stuff tweezers um like the ends of pens when it gets all gunky sometimes with ink i'll use that to clean it up um just everything and it's like sanitizes everything as well so they're super inexpensive um and just a quick way to clean things so i always have them there just or even like you, your ink pads or your your ink pads your stamps um there you go quick way and then i just have some self laminating sheets here um and a mini stapler i think i pretty much covered like majority of the stuff I like to have around me and of course you guys know um this uh kind of cutting mat um and my owl mug which I'd like to drink my tea out of it's just sitting on like a zebra print coaster um, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this really well I was using it for work but it's so pretty I don't want to break it because I almost broke it at work so I brought it home and uh, I might put some pens or something in there but that's pretty much the overview guys of my crafting area and just on the wall I wanted to do like a few feature wall but then I was like uh, I don't know so I literally just Put up some bags, just random bags for now. I'm not sure if it'll stay that way or not, but it was just easy. That lettering right there was from the $1.50 bin at Michael's. Um, but yeah, guys, and random bin full of like office supplies, like printing paper, stuff like that. And then just my chair. So I think the one thing I will pick up will be an area rug because I like coziness when I'm crafting. So... Oh, yeah. And the desk here, in case you guys are wondering, is from Ikea. So, super inexpensive. Um, use things around the house. My husband was using, like, before, actually. Before, in nursing school, I was using this desk for homework. And then my husband used it. And then now it's my crafting desk. So, very versatile things. You don't need to spend a fortune, um, again, like, all my storage bins super inexpensive so thank you for watching guys let's just do a quick little overview again um i would love to see what your crafting space looks like as i always get super inspired so until next time guys take care happy crafting